The Fountain of Knowledge, Lafette Lanier Elementary School in Langdale Auditorium. This episode coming to you now, episode 35 of season one, will have great lessons from my trip back to my hometown in Alabama to these wonderful buildings and the people that filled them for years. This is Daily Dose of Daryl Viewers Digest, all seven segments in one, May 30th through June 5th, 2022. Remember to open the information section. You can scroll down to the link to go to any particular day without watching the entire week. Also, we do have QR codes for the channel and QR codes for the website. Sit back and relax and learn some lessons from these wonderful buildings and the people that fill them for generations. Monday Magic. The real magic is in our heart. Develop a caring vision for the future. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. Vision with action can change the world. What a great school and auditorium. Wow. It began in 1935, the Lafette Lanier School, nurturing a lifetime of learning, and I would add many lifetimes of learning. It was a great place to grow up, the first kindergarten in the state of Alabama, and then first through the eighth grade, a beautiful two-story building just across the street from a great fountain. The fountain with a great bench, and the bench itself says in memory of Lafette Lanier II, 1882 to 1930, erected by his friends in Riverview, Fairfax, Langdale, Shawmont, Lynette, and West Point, great textile communities on the Chattahoochee River. This particular building that began in 1935 and Touch the Lives of Generations is on the Register of National Historic Buildings. Lafette Lanier Jr.'s picture is just inside the door, and this particular school, Lafette Lanier Elementary, has a way of taking the first letter of each word and stating learning, leading, empowering, and serving. And that's exactly what took place in our lives in that building. Indeed, such a majestic building with a great purpose started with founders that had a caring vision for the future and for the generations that would follow down through the years. Tuesday Truth. Learn to share knowledge. You know, sharing knowledge is the key to unlocking power. Knowledge is power. Human beings' biggest wealth is knowledge because it cannot be robbed and always increases by sharing. Teach what you know. Sharing knowledge is a charity of knowledge that constitutes the ways of a beautiful life. Knowledge is power. Power provides information. Information leads to education. Education breeds wisdom. Wisdom is liberation. This school has so many memories for so many people, and yet this will be the last year it will be used as a school. Progress, consolidation, growth, but the building will be preserved. A building that holds so many memories of people who have come up those steps and gone through those doors and into those wonderful classrooms the teachers and the staff have shared so much knowledge in so many creative ways from the cafeteria to the library to those interesting looking bathrooms with those funny hand washing places, to the ways that teachers have set up creative posters and slogans and sayings to help reinforce learning with those students through the years. Yes, teachers and staff sharing knowledge and giving power 
to those young minds, our minds. Wednesday Wisdom Decide to invest in learning. You see, learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought with ardor and diligence. Education is the best provision for old age, according to Aristotle. And each of us is getting older every day. More and more, we appreciate those early days of education, the older we get. From the basic ABCs of learning, cursive writing, and learning to read, reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. Our minds can travel. And through the years, so many teachers and students have come, and many of the retired teachers have come back and sometimes help. But remember those classrooms that would not only teach us math, but help us dream and sparkle and shine. And the many ways those teachers use those classrooms to bring us so much. And now, they're beginning to pack everything up to go out of the building, to no longer teach there. The books, the classroom materials, the desks, the decorations, the posters, and even some of those Christmas trees are still there. So remember this place with the tiny little benches for the tiny little students, the stairwells that led to where the big, tall, giant students were, those in the fifth through the eighth grade, the bulletin boards that reminded us of future places we might go to learn, and the different activities that the students participated in, especially in the various rooms, the warnings and the things we needed to know, even trips down the chalk-marked sidewalks where the students celebrate and create, down to the playground that has been there through the years, slightly upgraded. Truly, remember to invest in learning as a student for the rest of your life. That's one thing we got from this great building and the teachers who were willing to share. Thursday Thrill Embrace a variety of experiences. Every experience, good or bad, is a priceless collector's item. Some things cannot be taught. They must be experienced. You never learn the most valuable lessons in life until you go through your own journey. A new experience can be extremely pleasurable or extremely irritating or somewhere in between, and you never know until you try it. That majestic building in 1935 added a great auditorium and theater in 1937, And the steps leading up to that theater led people, students, many times to assembly programs, but also the general public, to movies, to plays, to productions off-Broadway, music, dance recitals, magic shows, and so much more. And the theater in recent history was restored to a showcase. And so... Enjoy this little trip through the theater, the auditorium, and realize the Hall of Fame incorporates photographs and billboards and posters and newspaper clippings from so many people who have participated there. I even saw my picture there where our kindergarten class dressed up like the different months of the year. And Beverly Wright and I, as MCs, introduced and talked about what takes place in those months. Now, we were five years old, and I remember thinking we were really old at five because we had to memorize so much. 
Now, much older, with multiple big numbers in my age, I'm feeling much younger now, <laughs> and I'm sure that's true with lots of people. This Hall of Fame reminds us of many of the things that took place here, and we can start thinking back about the experiences in those seats, or perhaps even on the stage looking out at the audience. I remember Birch the Magician had me help him unload his truck, and then called me up on stage to cut off a carrot and my arm. My arm was spared, but the carrot was not. That was about age eight, and that's when I started reading about and learning to do magic tricks. Years later, decades later actually, I came back as a magician to do an assembly program on that same stage and had a young person help me unload my vehicle, full circle. The memories in that building. And so, as we leave the auditorium and journey back to the school and begin to look out at the world, and as we walk away from that building, we are reminded of the underpass that kept us safe crossing that busy highway that was placed next to the kindergarten that took us over to the gymnasium for sporting events. And of course, now the sign says way too much. The sign says end of school zone. It really means that the school zone is ending for everyone. And that wonderful place of learning, that fountain of knowledge will be forever changed. And as the sun goes down on that last day, many people still treasure that place and the memories made there. Friday Flashback Impact the world a little bit at a time. Big things consist of many little things and you have to achieve the little things first. Great things are done by a series of small things brought together. Even Vincent van Gogh knew that in his artwork. While it may seem small, the ripple effect of small things is extraordinary. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. We all began in that school or one of the many other schools like that in those textile communities. Not just Langdale, but Shawmut and Fairfax and Riverview and Lynette and West Point and Hughley. And so whether it was a dance recital or the production of a wedding by young children, we all grew up and learned so much. And even that class of 1967 came back for a 50th anniversary reunion and just like that, five years later, it was the 55th. We all went to different schools, but many of us went to Valley High School. And many of those people that went there with us, dozens and dozens of them have already finished up this life and have gone on to the next life. But you know, they have made an impact not only on us, but also on the world. Many of us have gone on to become teachers and chiropractors and attorneys and ministers and manufacturers and players in the NFL and so many other areas of life that have touched others and made an impact, one little bit at a time, until we come full circle to the 55th and we look around and think, we haven't changed a bit, but the world has. Okay, so maybe we have changed just a little bit from those early days at La Fête Lanier Elementary School and Shaman and Fairfax and those other areas. One of the things I did at this reunion was to put together an arrangement of flowers to not only share at this 55th high school reunion, but to put it on Sunday morning at my home church in memory of my mother's birthday that took place that week. Because each of our parents had the foresight to make sure that we went to a good school and they were involved to make sure we had 
lots of not only knowledge and education, but also many other activities. So, thanks to not only the teachers and the staff and our fellow students, but to our families, especially our parents who did so much so that each of us, with each and every little bit, turned out to be a really great life. And our class made a big impact on the world and continues to make that impact today. Saturday Summary Monday Magic Develop a caring vision for the future that will help others. Tuesday Truth Learn to share knowledge with others in such a way that you both can grow. Wednesday Wisdom Invest yourself in learning something each day that will stay with you for life. Thursday Thrill Diversify your experiences so that you will be well-rounded and balanced for life with others. Friday Flashback Appreciate the little parts of your life that have allowed you to grow into an impactful person. Look back at your life and gain from your experiences. Sunday Silence What vision have you implemented for the future this week? Pause and reflect. What knowledge have you shared with others this week? Pause and reflect. In what ways have you invested yourself in learning something new this week? Pause and reflect. How are you building on the small parts of life in order to make an impact on the world around you? Pause and reflect. How are you experiencing a variety of things this week? Pause and reflect. This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive, personal, and professional every day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau. All three divisions, digital, real life, and print division, are active for you. Give us a call and let us know. Locally ordered books, if you contact me directly. Some have already gotten this book and started their journey of growth. Group discounts and special gifts for churches and pastors. I appreciate you, your ideas, and support, so thank you so much. These other areas I'm actively now serving in those ways, and here are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I'm using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.